So here we have the Vauxhall Crossland X on a 70 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. From the outside though you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first of all. As we approach the back of the car you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in fantastic condition the whole way around. Briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. Over on the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer on the right-hand side. In the centre at the top, first of all, we have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges. And beneath that, uh, the main trip computer area, which includes the total miles of this car. They are only 4,358, so very low mileage for the car's age. We have a digital readout for the speedometer displayed there. You can change that information for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. Directly above that, uh, it will show you what gear this car is in. We're in park at the moment as this is an automatic. Uh, if we back out to the steering wheel next, we have cruise control on the left-hand side, stereo controls and phone controls on the right-hand side, and then over in the center, the main touch screen for the car. Uh, so up on here uh, is where, obviously, as you can see, you can access your satellite navigation. Uh, we've done a full video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. Uh, down the bottom here, you can access your audio options, and you'll see that this car has got uh, radio, USB input, iPod input, and Bluetooth audio as well. On top of that, you've also got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, depending on what phone you have. And of course, speaking of phones, you can also pair your phone up to make and receive phone calls and use the Bluetooth audio from there as well. Below that, we have dual zone climate control. You can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. The air conditioning is on at the moment, so that's off. Back on again, or you can hit auto. The car will then maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed and direction of the air for you. Down the bottom here, you've got your 12 volt charging socket, two USB inputs, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and then these buttons along here. So you can turn the child locks on and off, the parking sensors on and off, the stop and start for the car on and off. Uh, you've also got your lane departure warning system, tire deflation warning system, and traction control. So loads of different safety settings there. And the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this ULES compliant car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.